time often means yard work, but what would you do if you went and to get your mower and it was gone? Fox 31's Colby Gallagher spoke to one local family who knows exactly what that feels like. James King went to use his air compressor and chainsaw this past Saturday and realized the $450 worth of equipment was missing from his own carport. And King's wife says he's feeling the loss. When you buy something or when something is yours, even if someone gives it to you, you want it. And, and you, it hurts you when someone takes it. The Doherty County Police are investigating this incident and they urge people to take precautions with their hard-earned items by securing them as much as possible. Most criminals are criminals of opportunity. If they see a weed eater laying out and no one's around it, then and, uh, people are more amped to pick it up and take it with them. Captain Jackson says your best bet is to store them out of view. But for those who must keep them outside, experts say the thicker the chain, the better. If it was a smaller gauge, it's real easy to snip it and go on. But with a bigger gauge, it's a lot harder to use regular bolt cutters to do it. Now, once you've picked your chain, it's time for a lock, and there are plenty to choose from, from your average padlock to a special circular lock that only has a small piece of metal exposed, making it much harder to cut. DCP says another precaution you can take is making friends with your neighbors, who can alert you to anything out of the ordinary, making it more difficult for people to steal your stuff. The harder you make it for someone to obtain your property, the less likely that they're going to mess with it and they'll move on. Colby Gallagher, Fox 31 News.